All right, hello everybody. I'm here again for a vlog size collection video, and today I'm going to be doing all of the lipsticks that I own. So I'm going to start with two lipsticks and just go through those. I'm going to swatch out certain brands just so you can see the different shades that I have and everything like that. You did see an overview in my makeup collection video. I'm sorry if this is a little bit redundant, but I do want to go into depth about the different formulas of the different lipsticks that I own. I do have another little um, tub of lippy sticks that I'll go through as well. Um, we'll do those after. Um, and then I'll probably do a part two, and that will be all liquid lipsticks and glosses and lip liners. Um, so this is just going to be like my tube lipsticks and all of my ColourPop lippies right here. So I have a mixture of drugstore and high-end lipsticks in my collection. Uh, my favorite brands are pretty obvious. I love uh, MAC Cosmetics lipsticks. They're just beautiful. I love them so much. And I do love the e.l.f. lipsticks, or I did love the e.l.f. lipsticks locks too, but I'll get into my personal opinions on all the different brands in a minute. But a lot of the lipsticks that I own, I rotate in and out of my makeup kit, like my professional kit. So there are a lot of ones that are missing here that I have in my professional kit that I wasn't going to go through because I went through them in another video. But just know that these lipsticks change depending on what is in my kit at the moment. Um, I like to go... Just switch things around, change things up, get used out of everything I own. And I have a lot of nudes, as you'll see. And so different nudes look good on different people. So switching them in and out allows me to try different colors on different skin tones and everything. Um, and it's fairly easy to sanitize tubed lipstick, which is awesome. So I definitely love it. Um, I am going to start just on the bottom left here. The first two lipsticks I have are by Rimmel. Um, these are the Rimmel and Kate collection. Um, the, there's one red and one nude. I love this nude because it's like nothing else that I own. I'm swatching them on my hand first so I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, and I love this red as well. Like beautiful colors. That brown has a really pretty purple taupiness to it. And that red is just a beautiful cherry red. Like, there's so much shine in this red lipstick when it's on your lips. It's ridiculous. I love it so much for the winter time. So I love both of these lipsticks a lot. They're the only two that I own. I know that Kate Moss does have a, like, nude lipstick collection. And I would be really interested in trying that out. I've just never gotten my hands on it before. Uh, but that would definitely be something cool that I would love to check out. The next two lipsticks right here are from Wet n Wild, and the packaging is atrocious on these lipsticks, but that's okay. And I have the shades Mauve Over It, or Mauve Out of Here, and Bear It All. Mauve Out of Here is like the perfect pinky mauve color. And then Bear It All is a dupe for Velvet Teddy by MAC, which I can swatch them side by side when it gets to the MAC lipsticks. Um, but here's what they look like. Literally perfect colors. And mixed together, they're even more beautiful. I will show you what they look like mixed together. I'll just put mauve out of here over. Bear it all. Like, the perfect faux color. Like, it turns into faux by MAC. It is gorgeous. So, I highly recommend those lipsticks. They're like $1.90 each, even though the packaging sucks. But they're just beautiful. They're matte lipsticks. Um, and I did forget to tell you the numbers on the last two. The Rimmel ones are, or, yeah, these are Rimmel, right? Yes, Rimmel. Gosh, I'm going crazy. Are number 10 and number 14. 10 is the cherry color and 14 is the taupey brown color. Um, and that was Bear It All and Mob Out of Here by Wet n Wild. But I'll swatch those again um, next to some of my MAC lipsticks in a second. The next one that I'm going to gravitate towards are these four right here. And these are all the Maybelline lipsticks that I own. I own the shades 665, which is Lust for Blush. I own 015, which is Born With It. I own 235, which is Warm Me Up. And then I own Touch of Spice. And then I have Daringly Nude. I have one in my kit and one in my purse. Um, if you've seen that one before, I think that one's pretty popular. But I'm going to swatch them. Just across. Lust for, Lust for Blush is probably my favorite of them all. Not going to lie. Although Warm Me Up or Touch of Spice is really beautiful as well. 
I don't know. I take that back. I love them all. That's why they're in my collection still. <laughs> Born With It is a pretty, like, everyday color. I'll show you in one second when I'm done swatching, but... Okay. So here is all of them swatched side by side. The first one is Lust for Blush. The second one is Touch of Spice. The third one is Born With It, and the final swatch on the far left is Warm Me Up. There's three mattes and one shimmer. So I really like Maybelline lipsticks. I'm just not a huge fan of this smell. The smell completely turns me off. Like, it is the worst smell. It, like, smells like Play-Doh or Crayola crayons. Like, that is the only way I could describe it. I mean, I like them. They last a long time. They're comfortable on the lips. I just feel like I'm dying because of the smell for the first like 15 or 20 minutes. So that's why I only have like five. I do have Daringly Nude. It's like a pretty peachy nude. I'm just not going to go down and get it out of my kit or out of my purse. The next drugstore brand I wanted to go over is going to be all of my L'Oreal Collection Privé lipsticks. I don't own any of the traditional L'Oreal lipsticks for some reason. I've just never gravitated towards them. I think it's because it was one of the brands my mom used to we are growing up in like the gold tube and I just never went towards those. I just never picked them up. But um, I do really love the collection preview ones and these are the lipsticks that are based on celebrities. So they picked out I think five or six celebrities and they told them to pick out their favorite nudes. I think they did pinks as well and they also did reds. And to pick out their favorite shades in those, what they would rock. Um, and that's how they created these shades. So I'm going to start with the two nudes that I have. I have JLo and Julianne. I don't know which Julianne it is, to be honest with you. But we have, all know who JLo is, so there you go. I used to have one more, and I have no idea where it went. Like, it disappeared on me. It was like Dotson or Dotson. I have no idea where it went. But those are the two. The first one it was... Um, JLo and the second one was Julianne. So beautiful nude shades. One was more pink than the other. And the three that I have from L'Oreal, I have Julianne, Blake, and Leah. So starting with Julianne. Sorry guys, I wish I could swatch on camera better, but um, it's just easier to swatch real quick off camera. You know what I mean? Oh, and these are really bad swatches. Sorry, they're not pretty, but they work. So the first one is the more like the orangest one, and that one is Julianne. The next one is Blake Lively, and then the third one is Leah. So, um, as you can see, there's little differences in them all. They are matte, but they're not as matte as the, like, retro matte finish from MAC. So they're not going to be like completely like foolproof, kiss proof once they dry down like the retro matte lipstick is for MAC. So just wanted to state that. But I do really love those lipsticks. I tend to find myself wearing those a ton during the Christmas season. So definitely some of my go-to reds for whatever occasion. The next set of lipsticks are going to be my e.l.f. lipsticks. I have two of the lines at e.l.f. I have the Studio line, and then this is the Moisturizing Lipstick line. I used to have the entire collection of these, and I had started YouTube in 2015 and posted a video swatching all of the Moisturizing Lipstick line, but I hated that video, and I took it down when I started again this year. <laughs> so I did get rid of that, but I did keep these three shades um, just so because I love wearing them. The first one is the shade... Um, Southern Belle. I'll swatch them across for you. So Southern Belle is a beautiful pink. I'll show you right here. It's just a beautiful pink color. An everyday pink. And then the next shade is in the nude. Macy. The dog is messing with the cat. And this is in the nude. It's more of a brownie nude shade. And then the third one is the deepest one. And this is Wink Pink. This one is a beautiful mauve pink. And that is what Wink Pink looks like. So really pretty shades. I really love them. The next shade is going to be in the studio line and this is my favorite e.l.f. lipstick and this is Runway Pink. And this does not compare. I love shades so much. It's the perfect nude for me. 
It is just beautiful. So that was Runway Pink in the Studio line. The next one is Barely Bitten, which is more like a... It's like a popsicle lip look. Like once it dries down, it looks like you've been sucking on a popsicle or a fruit punch. And that's the one on the far left. And then Macy, out of her space. There's personal bubbles. Dog mom props, right? The next one is Pouty Petal. And this one is like a pink pink lipstick. I love the formula in these studio lipsticks. This is the one on the bottom right. So I love that one. And then the final one is going to be Rich Raspberry. And this one reminds me of Mob Out of Here by Wet n Wild. So that's what they all look like. I think they're all beautiful. Studio line I definitely like a lot better. It's just a lot more thick. And it reminds me of the NARS Audacious lipsticks. That would be the thing that I would um, compare it to. Obviously nothing compares completely to the NARS Audacious lipsticks, which you'll see. I own one of them. Um, but yeah, that's what I would compare it to if I did compare it to anything. The next shades that I'm going to talk about are in high-end brands, since we haven't gotten to any of those yet. And these are my Makeup Forever Libbies. I have four of them. Three of them were sent to me by Influencer, and I was so grateful. And the other one I purchased myself because I love the formula. Okay, so I have four shades. The first one is a red color. It is the most beautiful deep red. I am so excited to wear this around Christmas time. I have a nude shade that I purchased myself. It's more of a pinky nude. Um, and then I have a mauve shade. And then I have a white shade to lighten lipsticks. So I'm going to swatch them and then I'll read to you their numbers. So that's what they are. And then from right to left, the, the red shade is M401. The next one is the Nude C105, and then the Moth shade is C211, and then the one on the far left, the white shade, is C600. So those are all of the Makeup Forever lipsticks that I own. I feel like it's a really good mix, and I highly recommend that brand for you. And then I have three Milani lipsticks. I think I do have one more laying around somewhere. I think it's in my purse as well. I have Nude Cream, which is just a classic. But I have three others. I have Dolce Camarello, Matte Naked, and Naturally Chick. And I will swatch the three for you. About these lipsticks, they smell like watermelon, which is great. Um, they're pretty long wearing. Um, I love Matte Naked. It's just the coolest lipstick, as you'll see. It's like... It looks bomb on my skin tone. I don't know why. I just, I love it. But you will see. That is what they look like. And once again, that is going to be Dolce Caramello, Matte Naked, and a Naturally Chick. So I love all the Milani lipsticks so much. You can see my pup right here. Look how cute she is. A little troublemaker. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, those are the Milani lipsticks that I own. And then I'm going to handle these four first, and then we'll get into all of my MAC lipsticks. Um, but the first shade is my Kitty Cat Matte Lipstick, and this is by CoverGirl. And this is in the shade Sphinx, and I really love this matte lipstick. It is a beautiful, like, everyday nude color. This is the only one I picked up from that collection, and I love it. I'm definitely glad that I did. It looks beautiful in brides, too. It's just like your lips, but better. So I love that. The next shade over is the Smashbox lipstick that I won from a giveaway that Amy Lim Thompson was doing on um, YouTube, and this is Jam on it, and it's one of Smashbox's Be Legendary lipsticks. It is the prettiest berry color, and I don't wear berries enough, but I need to wear this more, for sure. So that is Jam on it by Smashbox Cosmetics. And then I have one of the Urban Decay lipsticks. I want the new one. They just came out with the Naked Heat collection. But this is Liar, and this is a beautiful color too. I wore this one today to church, and I love it. It is the prettiest color. And then the final lipstick is my all-time favorite lipstick. This is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anna, and it is the prettiest 
color, rosy color in the entire world is this one over here. And I just love this lipstick so much. It's so creamy, so long lasting, so beautiful on the lips. Incredibly out of price. I mean overpriced, but it's beautiful. I mean it's not overpriced because it's worth the money. It's just expensive. That's what I was trying to say. Not overpriced, just expensive. And then the final lipsticks um, that we have to go over are all of my MAC lipsticks. So I'll start with the four limited edition ones that I own. I own two from the Ellie Golden collection, and I'll swatch those. They're both cream sheens. And the first one is Only You, and the second one is Without Your Love. Only You is the more pinky version. It's like a pink, sparkly cream sheen. I apologize. Only You is the peachy cream sheen. And then the other one is more pinky. But yeah, they're very just like settle your lips a bit better. I like them both a lot. So those are the two Ellie Golding ones. And then I have one from Mariah Carey. And can we just appreciate the packaging? Like the beautiful like butterfly and the glitter cap. Like, huh, just love it. So excessive, but... This shade does not look good on me at all, to be honest with you. It's like concealer lips. That is a very like light peachy color. And then the final one was from the Giambastia Valley collection. And all of the like tubes of this collection matched the actual like color. And this is Charlotte and it is a matte finish. So that is what that one looks like. It is slightly darker than uh, Ruby Woo to compare it for you. Um, Ruby Woo is a little bit more brighter and more intense. So I'm not going to swatch these in any which way. I'm just going to read off all the shades that I have um, and swatch a few at a time. The first one is Have Your Cake and this is a matte finish. And this is the purple shade that I own. So this one is Have Your Cake. The next shade that I have is Velvet Teddy, which I told you that I would compare this one for you. So I will compare Bare It All right beneath it. So the top one is Velvet Teddy and the bottom one is Bare It All by Wet n Wild. And Velvet Teddy is also a matte. The next shade here is going to be Blankety, and this is what I wore on my wedding day. And it is very melted. And this is Blankety, and this is an amplified finish. It's a very nice neutral matte if you're looking for a neutral matte color. It looks beautiful on brides. The next one is Honey Love, and this is also a matte. And I really do like this one as well. That is Honey Love right there in the far left. The next shade is the So Select shade, and this was limited edition. This is for select members like Max Reward Systems, and it's a dirty rose. And I do love this one in the winter time. It's one on the far left. The next shade is Whirl, and this is also a dirty rose. I'll swatch it right below So Select. This one's got more brown to it, and the other one is a little bit more rosy, I would say. So, So Select is on top, and Whirl is on the bottom. Whirl was made popular by Kylie Jenner. <laughs> so, But yeah, I think So Select has a little bit more rosiness to it, so I like it better for that reason. Um, Ruby Woo is the next shade, and it is a vibrant matte red. It is blue-based. So that is Ruby Woo. The next shade is going to be Stone, and this is also a matte. All right, my camera cut me off um, after I got time talking, so I have four MAC lipsticks left. I had already wiped off the swatches before I realized it cut me off, so sorry about that. The first shade that was left out is Faux, and this is the perfect, like, nudie pink in the entire world. It's got a slight mauve undertone, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It is one of my favorite lipsticks by MAC. Highly recommend this one if you're going to purchase any of them. The next one is Pillow Talk, and this is a warm, 
brown cream sheen. That's how I would describe it. I'm pretty sure they had discontinued this, but I'm not entirely sure. But this looks beautiful on deeper skin tones. Um, cream in your cup is similar, I think. Brave is the other one, and this is a more pinky nude. It's more pink um, than faux, and this one was made famous by um, Kylie Jenner. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just ate a bunch of watermelon. I know, this is so random. But anyway, Brave is a satin finish as well. So faux is a satin, Pillow Talk is a cream sheen, and Brave is a satin as well. And the last one I have is a luster finish, and this is Patisserie. And this is the perfect Your Lips Wet Better lipstick. It's the one on the far left. This is the one that I suggest for people who don't like lipstick, don't like how it feels because it's very lightweight on the lips and it's got a beautiful shine to it. Um, this is also good for brides or like younger children who are wearing lipstick just for like a wedding day or something. So yeah, definitely good. Um, I love all these colors. So these are all my ColourPop lippies. I have them all in here and then I have one e.l.f. matte lip crayon and this is in the shade Natural. This is in the shade Natural. Sorry, she had her hedgehog. <laughs> and a Natural is just a very, like, it's actually, I feel like, a more cool-toned nude. Um, so that's what it looks like. I like the matte lip pencils. They're just not, like, my favorite formula in the entire world. But, yeah. I mean, all of these are matte. I mean, all of these are lippy sticks by ColourPop. I love lippy sticks. I went through a huge phase where I wore nothing but... The first shade I'm going to swatch is Freshman, and this is a beautiful raspberry pink. I don't wear this one nearly as much as I should. This is a beautiful, like, summer color. It comes off as red on camera, but in real life, it's, like, a beautiful, like, it's got purple in it, for sure. The next bright shade I'll swatch is Frenchie, and this is my favorite summer red. It is gorgeous like phenomenal it is the prettiest red you can tell the difference between um freshman and frenchy here all right the next one is trust me and this is one of their matte x lippy sticks i got this one for valentine's day and it is the most gorgeous red color in the entire world it is literally budge proof. Like, you more red, li red lip isn't going anywhere with this one, and that's why I love it. The next shade is Sweet Thing, and this is a mauve. Mauvey pink. That is it on the far right. It's a pretty mauvey pink. It reminds me of a more sheer version of mauve out of here. The next shade is Taurus, and this is the one where they collab collabed with um, Kathleen Lights, and this is a warm brown. And that is Taurus. I really love this one as well. I love myself some brown lips. The next shade is Aquarius, and this is my favorite lippy stick of them all. It's a pretty nude, but it has for sure like a brown undertone in it. So that is Aquarius, and this is a one of the cream lippy sticks. If you hear my dog playing with toys, I'm sorry. The next one is Ripa. And this was a cream finish as well. This is like um, Ripa, like the Toxer is the host. It's like a creamy peachy color right there. It's a lot lighter than Aquarius. That one is also limited edition. ColourPop likes to release limited edition lip products all the time. You like cannot even catch up. Lumiere is another one by... Kathleen Lights, and this one is a perfect purple mauve. It is gorgeous. It reminds me of that Makeup Forever lipstick. The next shade is Contempo, and this is like my second favorite next to um, the uh, Aquarius shade. And it is a beautiful nudie pink. And then the next shade is going to be Cookie. And this one is a brown base nude. Reminds me of a Velvet Teddy. And then the next shade that I have is Button. And this is probably the brightest color that I own. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's a very bright pink. It does not look good on me. But it did look good on a couple brides. So that's why I keep it. <laughs> Um, 
And the final shade that I have is O Snap. And I'm, I take it back. This and Contempo are tied for sure. Um, you can tell like which colors I enjoy. O Snap is the bottom middle. Like these are all just beautiful. So yeah, those are all my color pop lippies. So I hope that you enjoyed all of the lipsticks that I owned and getting to know my collection and the things that I do have. If you see anything that you would like a video on, please let me know. Keep in contact and subscribe and like this video if you would like to see part two, which is going to be liquid lips, um, glosses, and lip liners. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoy. Bye-bye. But I've seen a lot of reviews on Pretty Vulgar all over YouTube and everything, but nobody's really talked about any of the eyeshadows. I saw like